Hey everyone, this is Duskull and Mike as Fat Gamer. Currently I am playing on the PS2, as it says right before you, Silent Hill Origins, or Origins, which I pronounce as Silent Hill Oranges, because that's just what I like to call it. Regardless, I actually am pretty blind on this game. Obviously I know it stars Travis, and for some reason I want to say Travis Touchdown, but you know that's from No More Heroes and all that, so never mind that. Oh, they have language options? Like, are these just dubs, or would these actually be, like, full-on, I don't know, like, maybe full-on, like, dubs or subs? I guess, well, English, obviously. Uh, choose your right. 16 by 9, 16 by 9. I guess this game did come out back when televisions could still be 4 by 3 instead of 16 by 9. It's gonna be like an opening or something, or this game contains images that could be considered violent or disturbing. Of opening this game, maybe if we wait a little bit, it will be though. I have to say though, it's a very nice title screen, especially for the PS2 era. Now, I'm going to have to get used to the controls for a little bit. I'm still not used to the PS2 controller, especially for games with these type of control schemes, like the Silent Hill games. So I really don't know what I'm getting myself into. Uh, as I said, I know Travis is the main character of the game, I know it takes place of obviously before Silent Hill 1, but besides that, not much of anything. Is the music here in reverse? You know what? Well, that was a little bit freaky. I think the tile screen just uh, reloaded, so let's look at tips. It's not very often you have a game that tells you tips, because we have 12. As Travis explores, he will find maps for the locations he visits in Silent Hill. These maps will be... Okay, I see just press down one. So these maps will be useful in your travels. Travis will make note of important items and doors on the map as he discovers them. Check your map if you get lost or aren't sure what to do next. That's kind of an obvious tip, but I guess thank you. Travis will turn his head to look at objects of interest. This will help you spot important items You, as you explore. I thought I was going to say something else. Push X when standing in front of the object to interact with, or... Uh, uh, okay. In front of objects of... to up inter Oh, interest, not interact. It's interact and interest. The C and the S in this font looked really similar to each other. At least in my glance on my TV. If I look on the HVR image, they look a bit more different. But regardless, to interact with them. To attack an enemy, hold down the R1 to assume a combat stance. You will lock onto enemies when they are close enough. Press the left and right direction buttons to change targets while locked on. Once you inflict enough damage on a monster, it will collapse to the floor. If left alone, it will get back up, or on its feet. To prevent this, you should finish it off as it withers on the ground. To perform a finishing move, release the R1 and press X when in front of the fallen enemy. Move forward. A move toward your target with the left analog stick and hit X to perform a forward attack. Often, these attacks have greater reach or inflict more damage. Hold down X while in the combat stance to charge up a high-powered attack. Release X to attack targets in range. Okay, so charge of attack, we have that. That's good to know. Okay, there are many large, heavy items in Silent Hill that can be used as weapons. Items such as typewriters or portable TVs will break when used. Oh yeah, this game has like that item pickup thing that Downpour also has. Okay, but also cause a great deal of damage. Large items can also be thrown at, at distant enemies. Like we could seriously throw a TV, no problem, at someone. Okay. Hold X while locked into a target, then release to throw the item. The streets and buildings of Silent Hill are full of items that can be used as weapons. Wooden planks, pitchforks, and even firearms. To pick up a weapon, press X when you're staying in front of it. You can then equip the weapon from the inventory screen. Press select. Alternatively, you can pick up and equip a weapon instantly by pressing the down directional button. The weapon will go straight into Travis's hands, ready for use. As Travis explores Silent Hill, he will discover what appears to be two overlapping versions of the town. The deserted streets of the Misty World, they call it the Misty World, and the dark, dangerous nightmares that is the other world. Travis can use mirrors to move between these realities. Okay. Uh... Stand in front of a mirror and press X to phase into the other world. Mirrors work both directions and can be used an unlimited number of times. 
That's different. Travis loses energy as he runs. Attacks or after a gra or after a grapple with a monster. If he loses too much energy, he will become exhausted. When exhausted, Travis will run slowly and will have a harder time grappling successfully. To restore stamina, Travis should rest for a while. You can also use energy drinks to replenish stamina and give Travis a momentary boost. Okay. So, as he runs, fuck. Okay. That's all the two. Oh, wait, no, there's two more. Some monsters will grab Travis if they can get close enough. During these grapples, Travis must act quickly to avoid taking damage. There are two types of grapple attacks, both requiring a different response. When you see an icon with a moving arrow over it, you must hammer the button as fast as you can to repel the enemy. If there is no arrow and the button is pulsing, you have a limited time to hit that button in order to defend against an attack. An obvious QTE, I see. And finally, as Travis explores, he will collect many items of various uh, shapes and sizes. These items will be stored in his inventory. Press select to go to the inventory screen. You can cycle between items categories with R01 and R1. Once you select an item, press X to see the available actions. You can examine items for additional information that may be useful, or equip and reload your weapons. Some objects can be used. If you wish to use an item, stand where you would like to use it and select the Use option on the inventory screen. Many puzzles can be solved this way. Which I always thought was one of the most uh, stupid ways for puzzles. You know, collect an item, put it someplace else. It's not even really a puzzle, it's more like a fetch quest. Regardless, though, as I said, sorry for reading all that. I always like to look at everything in the game before I actually go into a game, which I know some people are kind of like, oh, dude, just get on with the game. But, you know, I think it's good to kind of have what, what, what you know what you want to do. Also, I think it's kind of useless to have a continue option when you have a load game option in games, because if I was going to load my game, it just makes sense to choose my file. I can kind of understand where continue comes from, because it continues automatically where you last left off. It's not like a bad thing to have it, just, I don't know, it seems kind of more useless to me just to add a fourth option in the menu. Subtitles on, yes, uh, then vibration on. The highlight one's what matters. Sounds good to me. Who did I just pass there? That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up, son of a bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, hit on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stopping for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chick in your cab. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about new when you do your book, how you don't even remember how or why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. 10-4. Catch you later, buddy.
Hey, come back. Particularly happy to see us, but we are definitely playing. Okay, so how do we run? That is got. Wait, what? That's our flashlight on and off button. Oh, that's the button to use to run. Okay, but unfortunately we have stamina, so I know to watch out for that. Of course, let's do what we're not supposed to do first and go over here. Oh, we can't. That girl. Did I hit her? I need to catch up with her. Regardless, I mean, I guess we can investigate this. Uh, no, we cannot investigate our truck at all, which means I guess we just have to go forward. Actually, what happens if I go this way? Is there like a dead end over here? A wall, I guess. I'm over here. Will my light shine on this situation? Uh, apparently not. Is there even anything over here? Nope. However, though, that means there's literally nothing to do here. Onward we go. I like the music here, though. And look, it's got opening credits and gameplay. The classy. Okay, so I see tread marks, and I mean, I guess obviously I'm supposed to run down the street here. Uh, I guess we got some traffic cones. You can't really control the camera outside of your character, so if you want to control the camera, you just have to either move or walk. Oh, it's actually one of Mary's songs. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, not really too much else to see or say. Uh, that's one of the things I like about Silent Hill games in the beginning. Usually they let you interact with everything and just read up on stuff. I don't know. It's kind of a nice feature. I'm also not sure if I just heard something, if I'm crazy, or if that was part of the song. Yeah, anyways, though. Not really too much else to see and do here, so I guess we're just gonna jog down the road. This game is actually... okay. Uh, okay, Cinemax. Oh, it's the more credits and all that, which means I guess... Okay, let's just go on with the cinematicness. Onward this way. Yay. This game is actually deathly dark on my TV screen. I'm looking at the HGPVR screen, it looks fine, but I really can't see shit right now. Oh, I like this song. Hmm. Then again, Mary's songs are usually pretty nice. But this one's not, for some reason, uh, I guess I like the mystifying element of it. Pretty good opening sequence, all things considered, I guess. Though I'd wish there was a bit more to do rather than just run down the road. Though I guess we have a light. The light, is it the Welcome to Silent Hill sign? Is it the... yep. Looks like it. Welcome to Silent Hill. Oh boy, oh boy. Except this is oranges, so we will be able to go forward without any big translucent of what might or may not happen to us. Did you have Ah, oh, the sun ended. Not fire. It's smoke. My God. Someone's in there. Oh boy. Uh, unfortunately, it's still hard to see, though. It's obviously to tell where fire is. So I'm going to assume I'm supposed to go back here. Nothing really else to interact with, it looks like. So. Okay. Is that a door? It's locked on the other side. I should probably turn off the brightness. I'll do that after this part, though. Because, you know, no reason to stop the video and start it up again. Am I supposed to break into one of these fire doors, like this one? Something is blocking it. I can't open the door. Well, maybe it could be the fire, you know, it'd have a big backdraft. Uh, this. I can't leave. Oh, there's so. Oh, oh, someone's upstairs with well, the stairs. Yeah, the stairs right there. They were really dark on my screen. We got breaking the cinematic adventures, which means in there, of course. Is there going to be another cutscene? Nope, more gameplay. Before I go this way, let me go backwards, though. This game seems to have some noticeable loading times. Regardless, I was going to see if there's anything over here. There's something in this painting. Makes me want to stop and look. This isn't the time, though. It's going to burn just like the others. Okay. Uh, something's blocking. I can't open the door. Okay, so it was over useless over here, except to read some comment about a painting we can't even do anything with. Probably means I'll see it later somewhere, though. Uh, I guess we're running this way. 
Fire, fire's everywhere. There's no time to look at books. Oh, that's a bookshelf. Fuck, I cannot see where shit on this TV. Ah! Oh, I probably got hurt by that. Uh, regardless, that means I have to just walk this way, not touch the flames. Is there something over there? It looks kind of like a book, but I guess we're not supposed to be reading right now, as our character will gladly remind us. Alright, so let's see. Where to save someone? Is this a dead end? Is there. Yep, that's a dead end. Which means that the only way to go would probably be over here. Into, oh, yep, definitely over here. Alright. Just walking past all these. What are those? I can barely see them. Candles. Candles are some kind of ritual? You're coming with me. Children's. Sorry, nearly burn. Ah, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean. Aha! Uh -huh. No, no, no! Stop it, Travis. Okay, we're gonna be walking over here and not stub our toe on fire. We're gonna save you, you beautiful young woman. As I risk you out of my arms, I was just talking that I had bad luck with girls. Guess this is our best way to pick up some chicks. Ha 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 ha! That was really punny, me. Real punny. Sorry for all that. I guess we're gonna be going over this way to rescue the girl and see what we can do to get out of here. And we all go tumbling down. You know, I'm surprised she doesn't react to me touching her. Usually these type of things almost would get people to really overreact. Like, touching burnt skin, do you realize how much that hurts? So why isn't she reacting? Maybe she's already passed out? I don't know. Uh, the magic of Silent Hill can put fires out? Wow! Uh, can you put the other fires out? Actually, I think I've been here before. So, wait, why didn't you put the fire out that I stubbed my toe on? Huh? Huh? Why don't you just put all the fire out? What? Whatever. Whatever. Guess it was this way, maybe? Actually, what was that I just passed? Looks like an interesting painting, but no time to read or look at books. Oh, it's just a corner. Uh, really, really can't see right now. I'm sorry to keep on commenting on that. I know in the video it won't mean anything to you guys. It's just, to me, the reason why I'm fumbling around having no idea where the hell I'm going is because I literally can't see right now except for orange fire. That's all I can see is that door. Nope, that's just a wall. Uh, over here? No, I was already over here. It was definitely not over here. Where the heck am I supposed to be going? Probably not over there. Uh... Do we escape through the chimney like Santa Claus, or at least Santa Claus' rejected brother or something? Over here, maybe? I was already over here. And no such luck in finding doors. Huh. You know, there's a chance you and I may burn together, but that's not- Oh, wait! Wait, no, that's just a bookshelf. I thought it was a staircase. Fuck. Okay. Okay, me. Okay, there has to be something here. This pain's the thing that sticks out. Is this like a puzzle? Do I have to look at stuff? Is it? Well, it's probably more obvious than it looks like to me right now, but... Uh, what'd you, what do you say? This is no time. This is, oh, I've got no time for that. Well, we got plenty of time. we got all the time to waste on stuff right now. It looks like a grand piano. I could play the piano, you know, girl? And I probably will have to later. Is this the right way? Pretty sure this is where the fire that we put out was, though, so... What was the purpose to go over there if there was nothing over there? Oh, God. Uh, can you put out other fires? Like that! There you go! There we go! Progress! Thanks for putting out the fire, dear. You're a real sweetheart. Okay, so... Is that the staircase? Nope, that's just a wall. That's just a wall. Which means I am looking... Wait, that's that's the door, I think. No, no, over there. Over there, Travis. I feel like I'm almost mentally handicapped right now. So, I guess it means that I'm the best savior this girl could get in a time of crisis. I better run. Sorry, girl. We're going to save you. Exit this way. Exit. Stage left.
safe now. Hey, someone help her. Where is everyone? Sirens. And I recognize that loading symbol now. It's the object, the triangle thingy from the first Silent Hill game that has a name which I could not possibly pronounce. Taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. Well, uh, well, we gotta check to see if she's okay and all. So we're going to the hospital from the first Silent Hill. It's in the same place as it is in the other Silent Hill games. How do I zoom out of this? I mean, I know we're right here, and the hospital is literally right around the corner from us. Uh, can I go check out these other towns? Can I zoom out of the camera? Nope, that's out of my map. It's a map of the town. It's already ta I've already taken one. Oh, okay. Right, let's go to our options menu. We got flashlight. We got radio. We got lucky quarter. My lucky quarter. Okay. I want to examine you. Okay. I've had this quarter since I was a kid from when, uh, from when my parents died. It's kind of a lucky charm. It has something scratched onto it. It looks like 61. Do boy, do boy. A cheap pocket radio. Examine. Ha handy when I'm unfolding my rig. Tunnel tend to keep my boredom at bay. On oh, my blood up TV is kind of hard to read, so I apologize for that because this font's actually kind of small. Okay. Uh, with my job, I spend a lot of time on the road at night. When something goes wrong, it's good to have this thing strapped to my jacket. That all makes sense, I guess. Uh, notes map. How do I zoom out of you? Do I do a one? No, nope, nope. There's no way to zoom out of this. That's that, that's kind of weird. Okay, maybe maybe it was just X. Would X just be what you? Oh, it's X to zoom out. Would that mean that triangle? No, 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 not that, not that. Would that would mean that uh, the triangle button would be what you used to zoom in? No, just X. You press X to either zoom out, or zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Okay. Apparently you can't get any further or closer than that, but let's take this opportunity to actually get into the game. So now that we've got our map, let's go the way that they don't want us to go, because I'm a fucking rebel. And, uh, let's see. I better save my stamina and all that. Or, why, no, I don't need to save my stamina. There's nothing attacking me right now. And, as I expected, the end of the world is this way. Except it looks like it's less of the end of the world than usual. It just looks like part of the world has disappeared. And Travis does not have much else to say about this. He's seen the end of the world many times in his travels in this big truckomobile, I guess. However, there's a store over here that seems to be closing pretty soon if all the obnoxious green and purple text has anything to say. I need to go to the hospital. Better check on that girl, which means this is probably for later, because it really sticks out. Uh, are you going to say that's everything I want to potentially look at? In fact, there was an invisible wall there. Travis, run! Keep your stamina up, boy. If you practice every day, one day you'll eventually get over it. Alright, not really too much else to say. I... Why? That person is probably one of the worst parkers I've seen. Not only is he directly still on the road, he's just parked... I guess it makes sense to let people drive on in traffic, but still, it doesn't really seem like a place you'd want to park in. Okay, I know we're supposed to go to the hospital, which is probably right around this corner. Oh, now you're Travis. I mean, now you're Travis. Now you're tired, Travis. Huh, you know, last time I was in Silent Hill and got to this sort of hospital, it didn't look exactly like this. In fact, it's kind of cool to be going to a location I've been to another Silent Hill game. Given he's still not commenting on the road ending, which is kind of weird in itself. Let's see the hospital looks like what it looks like in Silent Hill 1. Uh, and it better because it's the same hospital. 
Unfortunately, it already looks a bit different. It's kind of the same layout, but it looks slightly ajar. Like, there's no park in front of it. It looks more industrial. Is this the ambulance that brought her in? Next to the dumpster. They, they, they probably just dumped her in the dumpster, Travis. Uh, story over. Regardless, we're going inside. Hopefully, the inside at least looks similar. This could be a different entrance. I, I'll live with the baton. Well, actually, no, it couldn't be the backside. Whatever, we're going in. Give me a reason, game. It's dark in here. And... Is that my TV or something else? Oh, under construction. Currently, the second and third floors of the hospital are undergoing renovations. At this time, they are closed to patients and visitors. Work continues in earnest, and the hospital management thank you for your continued cooperation as we try to minimize the disruption. We estimate the construction will be completed within six months. The restructuring of the third floor will almost double our capacity for, inpa or for inpatients and introduce cleaner, more modern facilities. Here at Alchemilia, the quality of care we provide to you, our, our valued patient, is of the uttermost importance, Dr. Phillips. And I will also comment, though, because of course I played Silent Hill 1 before this, is that most likely this is also during the period of time that they constructed that dark secret basement area that we go into in Silent Hill 1 where they stored uh, Lessa and all that. Chairman of Alchemilia Board. Cool, cool. And I'm also guessing that's a map. Yep, hospital map go go. Looks like we got two floors to go through. That's always fun. Alright, unfortunately on this video, it looks like you guys can see everything fine, but this is really dark for me. I should probably turn the brightness up for myself, or else I'm going to be going in blind. On the bright side, this does look very similar to the first area in the first Silent Hill game, which means I know how to get to that television. Just give me one second to actually get there. No flashlight for me, I guess. It's locked. Okay. Yeah, we're going to probably stop and start just for a small bit, just so I can turn the brightness up, so catch you guys in one second. Okay, now I can actually see worth better stuff, but still, that means there's a door here that's locked. No, not twice, Travis. There's a bookshelf here. And I guess what we're supposed to be aiming to is this door at the end of the dark hallway. Nothing to explore here. Uh, it looks different than it did in Silent Hill 1. That's my first uh, impression. The lock's broken. I can't open the door. Oh boy, it's locked door Silent Hill Town again. Which means, uh, I guess we have a few different stops that we can stop off at. Seems jammed, can't open the door. After all, who would need to go to the restroom in a hospital? Brilliant planning here. It's locked from the other side. Alright, alright, besides the fact that we have a pretty straightforward way to go right now. At least it makes exploring easier. It's not a good thing in my eyes, though. Oh, we got nice music. That means something's gonna happen. The lock's broken. I can't open the door. No? No? Okay. Uh, can't really turn my camera. Someone's running towards the screen right now. Oh, there's a door here, too. I can't leave until I know what happened to that girl. Okay, so it's another way out, I guess. Guess we need our life. Our interest depends on finding out what happened to this girl. We better check every door until we find one that's not locked. Something's blocking it. It's locked. Uh, seems jammed. Oh, boy. You a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. Goodbye. the elevator because because in Silent Hill 1 there was a weird puzzle which involved you getting to 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 the elevator to the secret fourth floor of the hospital which for some reason only existed after you visited all the other floors okay 
I uh, guess this is right now the elevator. They keep a bed here just in case someone gets really tired and needs to take a nap on the elevator. Must be that slow. Though it was actually pretty fast service. A dirty gurney. Someone just left it here? Yep, that's my response. Maybe, as I said, someone needs to sleep. So we got the time things. Um, I guess basement sounds legit first. Oh. Okay, the basement's not available, I guess. So can we go to 4 3? Knew we couldn't go there, so I guess 4 2 is the only place we can go. Why put buttons there if we can't press them? Regardless. We probably will. Oh, my flashlight's now in play. Yay! I can see the lighting effects. That actually does really remind me of the lighting effects of Silent Hill Shattered Memories, which makes sense because it's made by Climax, and Climax is the second Silent Hill game with Shattered Memories. This was their first Silent Hill game. Looks like there's a building work going on. This place needs a fresh coat of paint. Uh, nothing against the wall, because it's obviously the camera's viewpoint wall, so there's nothing important on it. I think they've been disconnected. And now you're actually commenting on things. Good job, Travis. Cutscene. Blonde loading time for nothing. Yes. So my first Silent Hill enemy is one of the nurses. They look a bit more psychotic here, and they kind of threw me in a position, which I don't think is a good way to introduce the enemies. I, I guess I'm about to find out if I do well or bad against this, but the camera doesn't even show me the enemy coming at me. It's just, it's pointed at me, so... Oh, well, regardless, back to the game. I got the hammer. Give me a second game. I need to figure out the controls of how you work. Okay, how do I put my hammer? How, how do I put my hammer? Supplies. Melee. Hammer. Uh, examine. Equip. Alright, alright. So now we can hopefully fight this enemy. Ah, fuck. Okay, okay. I get you. I get you. Gotta fucking fight you off. Don't want to fight too many enemies. Okay, now walk up to you and press X. Press X. Press X. So it says to do on the controls. That did not work. Oh, no, that's an instant map button. Okay. Yeah, I just kill you. Okay, now now walk up to her. She's, you, you just clipped through reality. Come on, get out from under there. Get out from under there. There you go. There you go. That's not a good first impression when you glitch through the arena, but whatever. Whatever, I'm bashing you in. Stop glitching over there. Okay, get back up so I can give you a little bit more of my 10, 4, 2, 3, 6, 7, 10. Okay, there you go. There you go. Come on. Oh. No, oh, okay. Where'd my hammer go? Uh, I guess it broke. I must have exited through the door. Why wasn't she dying, though? I honestly don't understand it. Is she still there? Oh, what are you fuck? Ah! Fuck, I feel like I'm. F now die already? Turn on the camera. Now, there we go. Now you'll do the kill animation. Why wouldn't you do that before? Whatever, whatever. 206, something's blocking it. I can't open the door because it's impossible to interact with things. Alright. Okay. Any other things in this debris pile? I was hoping there was something like maybe a, maybe I can use the bucket. And nope. I guess it's 205 then. Okay. Another long loading screen. No cutscene though. Uh, the gurney is stained with blood. Some of it still seems wet. That's okay. I've slept in worse. A med or medicine cabinet full of drugs I don't recognize. Cool. Uh, how about this? Medical charts, they mean nothing to me. After all, you're a trucker, I guess. Not really too much in the medical field. Uh, I guess we got some sort of report. Preliminary diagnosis. Third degree burns. Patient is unconscious. Something has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs. Tissue damage is limited to the epidermis, or epidermis, epidermis and extermitites of limbs. How is this possible? 
Oh, yeah, let's just tell the patient who's Adam's ass up the girl he saved that no patient like that was delivered here. You know, it's extremely obvious. It's one of the worst cover-up stories I've ever heard. Okay, what's that? There's some, something wrong with the mirror. The reflection isn't right. That's because it's otherworld, you. There's nothing special about this. I mean, if you look at the reflection, it's obviously the other world. I can even shine my flashlight into it. How do, how do we go to the other world? Do I just leave? Do I... Is that all I need to do? Uh, I guess there's something special about that bl bed, blood, dead, red. I'm supposed to just... I mean, I know what's wrong with it. The game's tips told me. If I didn't, I'd be more freaked out about this, but... Now, it's also kind of weird that, you know, my flashlight reflects light into the fake mirror world. You think that Travis would figure that out, that that's kind of weird. But I guess he's just kind of that kind of idiot. Oh, well, it doesn't really seem like there's too much here for us to do. I mean, I guess I found the file. Am I just supposed to leave out here again? Just live with what I saw in this room? Girl that almost got ran over by my truck. Hey, can we have a bonding moment? I, I think we're having a bonding moment. If I touch this side of the mirror and you touch it at the same time, it'll be like sweet. You, you want me? To, you want me to do something with you? Okay, I'm going to assume you want me to do something with you. So. You're the girl from the fire. How did you? Okay, now we can hop back and forth, right? That's a cool effect. I will admit that's a pretty cool effect, all things considered. Alright, but let's see how the game utilizes it. We're going to other world world. There we go. Now let's take a look sees round. Seems like my type of place. I got the scapel. I should probably learn how to equip that. Oh, there we go. Scapel. So that's how I go to my quick menu and do stuff. Either my fist or my scapel. Scapel, go, go. Anything else around here? I like the... Nope. No, I don't want to touch that. I do not want to touch that. I do not want to touch that. No. Travis, you need to learn not to turn when I'm looking at a sink. Regardless, since we're going back in other world land. If he has a cutscene about how weird this is, it's going to be kind of weird because I've already mirror hopped quite a few times. Regardless, he's still coming to terms with something weird's going on, though. Uh, let's see. Nothing too much over here. I mean, it's obviously just a reflection of the other world because, of course, just like other worlds are. Wait, is there going to be something here? Yay, health drinks. I was hoping for that because I really don't know how much health. How do I find out my health? Is it on my menu? Uh, status. Oh, uh, statue. Was that... Does that say statue? I think it's supposed to say stats. Looks kind of like an E. Uh, firearms. Yep, not really too much going on here. I don't know how I'm supposed to tell my health, but I guess I'll figure it out when I need to figure it out. I guess I'm hopping through here. Is going to be another enemy? Probably. I mean, they just gave me a scapel. Oh! Oh! Sorry, it's dark on my screen. I want to fucking stab you with... Okay, put that way. There we go. You're dead. Okay, uh, besides killing useless enemies, what else is there here? It's kind of, wait, wish the camera... Oh, there we go. Now the camera's kind of working in my favor. Seems jammed. I can't open the door. Well, that's unfortunate. Was that door? No? Okay, guess not. Uh, anything over here? I like this quieter part of the song. Instead of the loud brum, 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 brum. All right, I can hear some weird things going on. Guess we're gonna shift over to ourselves this way. Doesn't seem to be any other enemies though. If you have the doors to check, seems jammed. Of course, another jammed. I knew it was gonna be the door at the end of the hallway. It's always the door at the end of the hallway. More enemies, I presume, or not? Okay. 
We got gore covered walls. This is actually probably the reddest I've ever seen Silent Hill. It's really red. Uh, okay, it's not like the rusty orange. Looks like everything's fresh blood here. I mean, some things look a bit rusted, but this looks like blood, blood, period red, which I guess means less a thing. Probably blood red because of how she was just recently burned. Uh, regardless, we got all these doors to check and none of them open. I should probably check my map. But first, I need to check all the walls. Actually, there's a door over there. Did I check that before? Probably didn't. Nope. It's still dark on my TV, but I can handle it. I guess there's nothing over there, nothing over here. I guess it's just a long way to the end of the hallway. Hmm, sound effects coming from this door. Oh, portable TV. But of course, that's a weapon. And here I go, I guess. I don't like how this room sounds. But then again, I don't like this room's face either, so that would be... I'm going to stop making those jokes now. Uh, let's see. There is sitting here what appears to be... What is that? I guess I should look at it and find out. Oh, just a note on top of an aquarium? This heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. To still it, I have to put it on ice and lock it away. To still it, I have put it on ice and locked it away. Remember the three beauties who cause it to pump, so they are the key. Age before beauty. It's an echo ice box with a lock. Take a look. Yep. Oh, oh boy. Oh, gee, joy, oh joy. So we got our first puzzle. And I'm determined to complete this game's puzzles without looking online. Oh, a drip stand. Are these like weapons? I, like, do I. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I continue using the scaffold thing until it breaks, though. Okay, so let's look at the note again, because obviously it's some clue to some puzzle. Okay, notes. Okay, bloody note. This heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. To still that, to put it on ice and locked away. Remember, the three beauties who cause it to pump are pump, so are the key. Age before be okay, I don't get it. Remember, the three beauties who cause it to pump, so are the key. Age before beauty. So is it like the number of characters inside the three words? Is that what this puzzle is? So it'd be like three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six would be like three, six, six. I don't know. It's the most I can think of because it's obviously numbers in the words. I guess I can give it a shot. So my theory, if this goes slow, it even has acceleration, which is kind of weird, but it'd be three, six, six. You know, seven is kind of used there. Yeah. There's probably something about the reason why seven is used. But I still don't know the solution to the puzzle. Is there a bigger hint lying around somewhere? Because I certainly don't see it. Um, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is there anything in my items? Might as well take a look see. We got obviously a drip stand, a sturdy mail drip stand, a scap. We don't need melee weapons though. Nothing. Firearms, items, flashlight, radio, lucky quarters, 61. Probably not our quarter, probably doesn't tell the fortune of hearts. We are saddle ourselves a health drink. If it would help if I knew how much health I was on. I'm going to assume hopefully the game lets me know before it happens. Actually, one last thing before we go into this though. Options. What else is here? Okay, so there's actually more here. Music volume. Good, good extra option. Ah, <laughs> they've got some extra stuff for whenever. So, I guess the, the only clue I have, I could go backwards to see if I can figure something out, but I don't think there's any other clues here. At least nothing I spotted. This heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. Still, they have to put it on ice and locked it away. Remember the three beauties who cause it to pump. So are the key age before beauty. Maybe I'm looking for something to do with Beauty, but I don't get it though. I didn't see anything that looked particularly beautiful or anything I was commenting on that was beautiful. Uh, not really seeing too much either. So I just gotta try every. Now the door opens! I know for a fact I tried this door before. 
Oh boy, nothing over here. Oh, I got the golden egg. A chicka woos, drappy doo. Wait, he, he was looking at something. Yeah, he's looking at something in the sink. Or not, or not. Keeps on looking at something though. Oh, there's something right there. A note. Parts of this note are obscured. Worry not, blank, 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 but whatever. I have used the blank to contain their power. No one will come to her and uh, to come to her aid. Blank, blank, blank. One of the five blanks. Hide them. Protect them. Blank. Okay. Whatever. Nothing else really here, I guess. I guess that window's not gonna open either. So, whatever. I guess we're going backwards. We're gonna recheck all the doors while I try to figure out this puzzle. Is my radio going off? I think so, which is unfortunate. Oh yeah, there's an enemy there. I didn't see it in my dark screen. Die, you son of a bitch. Ow. Oh, I can now kill her. Come on, do it, do it, come on, do it, do it. She's on the ground, you're doing this glitch again. Fuck you, Travis. Fuck you. Why, why won't you kill them when they're on the ground? Okay. Uh, yeah, you're gonna use this. Oh, X, 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 No! Come on. That wasn't fast enough. Or I'll fucking punch her to death, I guess. Okay, can we now kill her? Is she glitching? No, I'm getting. I'm going through this door. And I'm coming back so I can fucking kill her. It's really annoying to have an enemy you can't kill because what you presume is probably a glitch, which it seems to be. Not that I punched the living hell out of her again, I guess. It's also not nice to have enemies right outside the door when you exit places. So get down on the ground. We're gonna have a party. Nurses in single order can get punched by my fist. Now will you die? Now will you die? No, you won't. I can't fucking step on you. This is bullshit. Another door I can go into suddenly. Because I know I couldn't go inside this door either earlier. It's also very dark in here. And it stinks too. Okay, let's see. I guess we're twisting over this pathway. I got the health drink. Well, that's always nice. If I even knew what type of health I was on. Oh, there's a downstairs. That's cool. I guess. Uh, I guess I should go down here. I was going to say maybe I should check out the rest of the floors here, but going down's not a bad thing. Just another very dark way on my day off work. You know, it's a day off work for Mr. Travis because he doesn't actually have to go off and be a truck driver. Oh, that door did work. Okay, that's. I guess that's good. Kind of dark down here, if I may say. That's my radio's going off, so I'm assuming there's something in the dark. Oh, there you are! Ow, oh, ow! If only I knew what type of health I was before I knew how to save this game, so I don't have to start this all over. You guys better not kill me, because I literally have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, now die. Let me step on you. Let me step on you. Let me step on... No, why won't the game let me step on enemies? Is there some sort of clue to this? Do I pull out my metal... Fuck you. F seriously, fuck you. Okay, now now kill her. Now kill her. Now kill her. Now kill her. Pressing X from every direction. Every angle. And none of it works. Why does none of it work? No, fuck you. Seriously, fuck the hell out of you. Stop glitching so I can't kill you or whatever. There's an oval depression in the door. Underneath is a plague which reads, Even in the intense room, out of the flames, I saw life born anew. Which is an obvious implication. We're supposed to use this egg that we got earlier, an orange golden egg. Use... Use the golden egg. Which means we're going in, I guess. Looks kind of weird to be holding up just this big pole as we walk around, but... Nothing really too much else to see. It looks like there's a shiny, or... Oh, oh, oh! This leads to normal Silent Hill. I don't even think I was done with the other Silent Hill, but I'll take normal Silent Hill for now. Uh, was there anything else in here? 
guess there's something here. Health drink? Yeah, another health drink. Now where all the hell do I save my game? Okay, what's in the bathroom besides craziness? Uh, someone has written on the door. It says, Amy31. So, Amy31. Oh, this probably has to do with the three beauties thing. So I guess I'd have to write this down that Amy, in fact, here's a pen right now. Now where's the sheet of paper? I guess I can use this. What is this? Oh, it's my voters pamphlet. Whatever. Amy. Uh, let's see. I mean, I already voted. So come on, pen. Work. I don't. I want to use you, not another pen. Uh, oh, there we go. We got something coming out of it. So we have Amy. Dot. 31 all right all right we got we got something going on here we I feel like we're getting somewhere which means I guess we're gonna go this way and not find anything else was there anything in the uh, crazy land I didn't pick up on hey crazy land uh, let's see not too much to see was there anything back here the custard lid is loose. Remove it? Yes. You got a plastic liver. Well, that's cool. You know, I like collecting plastic livers in my spare time. Really makes me feel like a man. Come on, get, get, get from over there. We want to explore the next stall. Nothing to see, just a filthy toilet. Yet you knew that the other one was loose and you want to get the liver inside. That's cool, Travis, I guess. Back to the mirror. <laughs> Now, is the door in this one going to be locked or something? Probably. Now it's unlocked. Oh, well, at least that's a revelation. And you know, they'd probably question if I was carrying this around. Uh, my map, I guess there's probably more to this place than I haven't explored. Oh, whoop de doozers. I wish I could turn my flashlight on here, too, though. But have we been here before? Lock's broken. Can't do shit. I think this is where... Yeah, I think this is where the elevator is, isn't it? Let me, let me take a look. -sees. This is indeed where the elevator is. I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing here. In which case, I'm going to go back the way I came. Which I guess was this way. Was it? No, no, it, was, it was through here. And in here, I went not to the late. Oh, it was the ladies' restroom. Sorry, ladies. I need to take your plastic livers and all that. Back to crazy land. I need to figure out how to save my game before I die of hepatitis or something. I guess we're going to be going through here, though. We got our plastic livers. We got our Amy 31s. Now, where's the enemy that's going to probably brutally murder me as soon as I walk through this door? There you are. I was mashing the button. <laughs> ah. Fuck you. Die already this time. Fucking hating that you guys don't die. Pressing the button. I'm pressing the button. Not doing anything. I can't fucking do anything to kill you. Why is it so picky? Oh, there's another door there, I guess. Or no, this is just the same door. Fuck. Now it's time to see if I can beat the nurse this time. They say get out of attack mode and press X, which is what I'm doing, but it doesn't seem to do anything. No! Fuck! If I die from you, and how do I even tell how much damage I have? Come on, come on, just punch the shit living shit out of you. Luckily, you nurses are kind of slow and stupid, so... And you seem to glitch through his walls, too, so that's not helping my case. Okay, now die. Now die. Now die. I'm looking at you. I'm doing... I'm trying to step on you. Do I, do I need to be in attack mode to do that? Guess not. Now you're getting back up again, though. So I'm gonna beat the living crap out of you some more. Why won't they die unless you do it this way? In other Silent Hill games, they'll die if you don't step on their heads or whatever. Lock's broken. I can't allow lock. The you know what? Maybe this girl just is not worth my time. I'm out. I'm out. You and I have had some good times together. Fuck, and she's gonna kill me probably or something because I'm getting stuck on everything. Fuck, the combat in this game is really annoying me right now. Is there anything over here? Am I, am I, am I, uh, camera, camera, camera. Is, is there? Is there? No. Is there? 
No, is there nothing over there? Okay, I guess I'm going up here then. Do I look like I'm damaged? Do I... Am I limping? Am I bleeding? Is there some implication of what my health is? Is it on my... Is it on my select menu? Is it... Is, it, is there something that's telling me how, how good I am? My status... Is, is, is it my status? Do I tell by how much my light is flickering? Is my life coming to an end because of that? I don't want to waste my health drinks, but I don't want to die either, especially before I find a save point. Uh, what do these save points look like, game? Game, why haven't you taught me these things? So, oh, there's a hammer there, okay. Well, that I guess that's cool. I'll equip it just for you. Please equip my hammer. I like you. No, no, I like you to equip. We're gonna see if we can beat the living hell of an enemy now. Oh, there you are. Now die, please. You're on my list of things I want dead. <coughs> Come on! Why won't you die? Why won't you things die? I, I swear, I step up to you. I press X all night long, and nothing happens. So now I just waste my items on you some more. So I try to figure out how this weird wonky system works. You guys don't seem to die from any other way, so I need to do it this way. But then it doesn't even work, so what the hell am I doing? Okay, how about this door? Maybe that door is now open, I guess. Wait, I was, yeah, I was here before, uh... I, I don't know what else to say, I'm just looking around. Is this the door I came from? I think it was. Yeah, this is the room I came from. This is where we saw the good old scriptures and whatever. Okay, loading, do your loading thing. So I can walk this way and do nothing for a little bit. This door? Nope. Guess it's no door on this side of the world. Nope. Let's run back the way that we came. Okay, so... Maybe I'm supposed to go to normal Silent Hill and do something- Ah! Oh, no! 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 Wait, my screen's starting to get stacky, so... Fuck, does that mean I'm almost dead? I'm going to assume yes, after I try to beat the living hell out of you, I'm gonna use a healing drink. You better die. You better die. You be no! No! No game! No game! This isn't how you do proper contact, or combat, by making it completely broken. I'm gonna fucking eat a health drink or whatever. Okay, mildly, what, what do I have to say about this? Uh, this plastic organ is a replica of a human liver. Cool. I kind of figured that out, game. Let's use one of these. With a mixture of herbs and vitamins, this drink is perfect for combating the aches and pains. Now what I walk into now... Oh yeah, this area. And I've wasted all my items on shit already. Now I better run before I get grabbed by a fucking nurse who's gonna be right there when I spawn. I already know she is. Fuck, okay. I get your picture. I get your angle. I'm walking this way because I hate you. I, I really hate you. I hate you nurses. I have no empathy for any of you. I, I really wish you all could die of cancer. That's how I stand with you right now. Yes, I'd like to open the block. Is it the number 31? Probably there's more to it, but I want to hope. I want to hope in my head that that would be it, but I guess not. I, gu I guess you guys just couldn't give me the pleasure. I could look you up online, and I could be done with this, but I'm figuring you out on my own. You probably have a replica heart, just like I have a replica liver. And maybe one day we'll make replica babies. I, I don't know. I really don't know, because maybe I'll have a replica wife, maybe with all this replica stuff I'm picking up. But regardless... Regardless, I don't even know the answer. It's 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 past me. I guess I'm going back to Normalsville. With this terrible camera angle, because there's a nurse over there. It's going to probably grab me in three seconds. 
Fuck you. I can't see where shit. I'm gonna be marching my way this way. What the fuck am I doing? Is it this way? Nurse is this way, though, I know. In fact, there she is now. Better combat her to the death. Fuck you. I hate you. Why won't you die? Seriously. I'm doing... I've beat you I don't know how many times. And I try to do the thing the game tells me to do. Oh, step up and use the X button to kill. Yeah, that would work pretty nicely if it actually worked. And it worked once. Once. And then, even then it was glitched the first time. So what the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? I guess I'm going to go back to Normalsville. Back to Normalsville I go. To enjoy my fun time in ashy snow. Where's the door? Oh, wait, wait, this is the turn around. Yeah. Where I turn around on the staircase and then go down. Where there's another nurse awaiting me. I'm her knight in shining armor. What am I even doing with these uh, liver? No, 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 no! No! Now die. Please die. Just please die a miserable, sufferable death so it doesn't feel like I'm fighting invincible monsters who I can't even kill, despite the fact I should have killed you all a long time ago. I'm wasting so much on you guys. It's still ridiculous. Am I supposed to be in the attack pose? No, I don't think so. The game even told me specifically not to. But the game seems to think I might need to. Back through here I go with the golden egg magic. Might as well go back to normal side on the old not a bunch of annoying nurses there. Still. Guess I can't complain because I'm still living. Ha ha ha. Hee hee hee. Hoo hoo hoo. Which means back to exploring Silent Hillsville. Plastic liver. And a heart I can't open besides I'm looking for clues. Come on, game. We need to split up and search for clues. Sounds like a plan, raggy daggy do. Guess there's other doors in here. Maybe, I, maybe there's something right here. Nope, that's jammed. Space jammed. Nothing over there either, which means I guess I'm breaking through here. Alright, there's probably some tip about killing enemies I don't know, but I swear the game just told me to walk up to them when not in your attack phase and hold X. Actually, do I... I'm trying to charge up my fist attack, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Anyway, is this safe? Is this a save thing? Yeah, there we go. That was a save thing, which means I can save my game right there. Yeah, I'd love to save my game there, game, because in that case, I probably won't die in the process of trying to do things. That's all on save load. Do I, do I press? Okay. Uh, that's all on save time. I guess there's nothing else here I'm supposed to do. Might as well call this off because I'm still trying to figure out you. So in next time, we'll hopefully get out of the hospital. With, though there's an exit right over there, but I need to find the girl. I need to know how she's doing. Yeah, fuck all these undead nurses. I need to know how that burnt girl is. I saved her. I need to know her fate, even though I just read a file about her. I'm a dense motherfucker, and I don't even care. Just some magazines. Just some magazines. Catch you guys next time.